Hey everybody, welcome to the next episode. I am going to be building a mobile timber refinery this time. <clears throat> um, I was going to build like a stationary lumber yard here and a, just a big truck to bring in the logs, but I thought we kind of already have a truck and it's pretty easy to build a stationary one, so I'm going to try and build a mobile one. The only problem is... I've decided I want to build a mobile refinery, but I have no idea how I want it to work. I do know that this is not it, however. Alright guys, well this is going to be a proof of concept. Um, what needs to happen when I turn... Oh, let's get these blocks out of here. When I turn this on, it should just drag the log into it or itself down the log. Whichever happens, it doesn't matter. Why is it not dropping down? Ah, it dropped down that time, okay, and it's pulling itself along no problem. It's sort of turning into something. It's turned into that, which um, once it detects something in its mouth, it does this and sits down. And should just keep pulling the tree in. Or pull itself along the tree. Either way, I don't care. That's the idea, and I'm hoping that I've made enough of a box here that bits can't escape, and if my numbers add up, there it should be enough space to drive that tree in. In fact, let, let's test that. How do we test that now? Because can I drop this on that tree? Yeah. Right, let's hit the switch. Ooh. That's gonna... Yeah, that's okay. Oh, oh, it's trying. Oh, it grabbed it. No problem. We don't need that wheel on top. It feeds itself in all good. There's enough log that once it's split, it's still going to be in the machine, so it'll keep feeding. And it's just a case of bits escaping. Okay, I've still got to hook a whole bunch of stuff up, but we have a basic idea happening here. We have steering, and once the mouth has detected a log, it should automatically fold up like so and start feeding on the log. The idea, I haven't hooked it up yet, but the idea is it's completely automated with all the sensors. Basically, you will just drive around and it will do the rest for you. Alright, so I think I have the automatic stump grinder set up here. I have hooked it up to a safety switch as well, but it's going to be the only switch. Otherwise, every time you walk past the back, it's going to try and cut you or something. So, it's okay. One switch is fine. Anyway, how it works, quite simply, is you're going to reverse up to a tree until a tree hits this sensor because it's only got a one block range so I'm gonna just imitate that with a block then well the rest happens automatically and once the tree is cut and falls down the idea is it turns off and puts itself away I suppose I should actually go and test this on a real tree now Okay, we're here at our first tree. I'm going to turn off the safety switch there, so I should be able to just drive into the back of it, like that. See, I didn't want that to happen. I didn't want to cut up the bottom few pieces. But I don't know if that's going to happen always. I suppose it depends which direction the tree falls. Then we just need to drive over the log like so, and the rest happens automatically. And when it's finished, it should turn off, stand us back up, so now we can head off and get the next one. Alright guys, I'm going to call that complete. I know it's not the most attractive vehicle I've ever made, but this one is all function over form, and I think it works reasonably well. 
Here, have a look. Turn our safeties off, reverse up to this tree. And then all we have to do is eat the tree. And the machine does the rest for us. Fantastic. Well, that's a small machine. Now, let's see what happens if we do, uh, sorry, a small tree. Now, let's see what happens if we do a big tree. And there we go, the machine has got it. So I'm going to get out and I'm just going to break up these extra pieces while the machine eats that. Okay guys, I've increased the power a bit. Let's see what happens now. Excellent, got hold of the log and it should chomp it up no problem now. Excellent. go feeding in nicely now perfect that's exactly how we want it to behave it's dragging us into the bush but I think I'm just gonna wait in my seat until this tree is finished being eaten then I'm gonna go and cut some more down this is good fun all right here comes the next one Lovely. If we drive forward a little there, we won't cut the base. And then we won't have any bits to clean up. Excellent. Now we've just got to eat the log. Come here, log. Nyam, 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 nyam. And are you in? There you go. Now you're in. Thank you, machine. Well, my cages are filling up way too fast. I need to wait and let the processing plant catch up. Perfect. Hey, get off my car. A small tree to gobble up. Yum, 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 yum. Lovely. Next. Beautiful. Fall on the car again. Sell more food for me. And there it goes. Lovely. I love the transform on this. And it also makes quite a nice square penned in cage so nothing can get out. Just eat my lao. Yum, 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 yum. Let's get out of here. I hope you like the automatic mobile timber refinery. Let me know what you think. I forgot to mention guys, the gas tank is here at the back, but the easiest way to get to your batteries and the chest with all your goods in it is just stick it on a lift. The whole vehicle is obviously electric and all works off that one battery tank. I'm off to do some more wood cutting. Thanks for watching, we will see you on the next one.